Welcome back. We're tired of Chelsea. Already has more than 100 stores around Great Britain and dozens more worldwide. Next week, the world-renowned tea retailer will open its first store in the U.S. right here in Boston. Here for the opening and to teach us how to brew the best cup of tea is Wittard of Chelsea's tea expert, Giles Hilton. We've been chatting and we were talking about all of these different things that you can get at Wittard. Papaya pieces, rose petals, sunflower petals, mango hibiscus. Mango oil. There's mango oil. Well, People, <laughs> mango oil. You should smell this. And what do you do? You said you mix it all yes. and then you brew it. See, the idea is that we have pre-made some flavored teas. But some people. Quite nice, thank you. Very much. My apologies. Yeah, yes. some people, I just want to keep the mango oil. <laughs> some people like to literally invent their own recipes. Why shouldn't they? So it's almost hands-on. Come on, let's look at what makes a flavoured tea. Let's start with green tea if you want, or black tea. It's always that choice. So in store, we will have this area with all these ingredients in little bowls. Oh, and you, people can mix. You them. literally your mix own. your own, and then a spray. So you put two shots of mango oil into it. And you've got a mango tea. You oh, made your own. Fabulous. Let's take some calls. Isabel in Uxbridge, Massachusetts. Hello. Hi, Isabel. Hi. What's the origin of Russian tea? And what is the origin of uh, a chai tea? Um, Russian oh. tea is used to be pre-Chernobyl, grown in Russia. It's a bit nuclear active now. Is that really so? It did. It, it hums. But there used to be enormous areas of Russia um, towards the Black Sea that way, um, where they grew wonderful tea. Um, we now sell a tea called Russian Caravan, and that's actually China tea that used to come across Russia by camel caravan in the old days. Mm -hmm. Developed a unique flavor, should we say, on the back of a camel for a year. <laughs> but now it comes by air freight. Um, but Russian Caravan, therefore, is a slightly misleading title. But that's, some people think, oh, it's Russian. It has a similar character of tea. Black tea, by the way, that one. How about chai? Chai. Totally misused word. Chai is simply the original Chinese word. Cha or chai meant tea. The Indians then took on that word in their language for chai, and it's now been hijacked by mainly America, but also Europe, as meaning a rather milky drink with lots of spices in it. But chai should be black tea, spices, and if you want, a dash of milk. That is Don't what you feel so about. ashamed? I do. I have been ashamed for the whole hour. Bill from Boston, you're on with Giles Hilton. Welcome, Bill. Yes, uh, I, I was wondering about Lapsang Suchong tea. I. I sharp think I'm pronouncing it. You correctly. have pronounced it perfectly. The sharp intake of breath on my part is because you love or hate Lapsang Souchong. It's the smoky China tea. And they literally, when they dry the leaves, it's black tea, they intentionally release a bit of smoke out of the fire that's drying it. So it's, it's smoke tainted. And it really has a character. It probably happened by accident originally. And people got so used to it that the whole way through the probably 18, 1830s, 1840s, right through the fact that Victorian period of English history, for your afternoon tea, would you have Lapsang Souchong, madam, or would you have Indian tea? And it was really popular. Lapsang Souchong. Souchong. I've never heard of it. So it's smoky it. black china tea that you drink really weak, even weak, weaker than we're drinking this um, green tea now. Okay. Albertina in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello. 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 Go, Go ahead. Go. Uh, I drink a lot of green tea, but decaffeinated. How do they decaffeinate tea? I heard if uh, I knew how they did it, I would never drink it. <laughs> I also drink ginger decaffeinated. I can sleep with decaf, and it is better to drink. Uh, is it better to drink regular tea instead, or, or what? Giles, you said earlier, decaffeinating it is having the heart no, torn I'm out I'm of the tea. I think it is. Yes, I'm afraid. I think. It but is. how do they do it for those who can't drink caffeinated things? What do they do? Th which is 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 um, a very clever operation. They actually have invented a rather horribly. Uh, named compound called methylene chloride, which is a vapor, and it acts like a magnet only to caffeine. It's weird. So you spray it over the leaves, and then you steam, with very light steam, hot air, dry the leaves, and the methylene chloride literally floats out again. So it disappears. It evaporates at 40 degrees, and that's taken the caffeine with it. Huh. Then you sell no, it to a you. soft drinks maker as the caffeine <laughs> ingredient. We're going to take a break, during which time uh, Leslie is going to be stuffing these into her undergarments. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's clear that's what, no I mean, one will know, right, that's what's going to happen. We'll be right back with Giles Hilton. Please don't go away. Time now for our last call on the phone quickly is Dan from Pawkatuck, Connecticut. Welcome, Dan. Go. 
Hi, how you doing? Great. Oh, well. Hey, forget Boston, please. Come to Connecticut. <laughs> I live five miles from Foxwoods. I'm sure they can find a spot for you. <laughs> to get looking. And I love tea. Thank I you, Dan. That's a perfect invitation. One I'm sure you're going to say yes to at the appropriate time. I mean, Boston is the first of many to come. Boston is, that is the first of many, yes. And Dan, yes. you can always come up to Newbury Street, too. Yes. Giles, quickly, you actually go into the fields and you've traveled and extensively and you sniff tea leaves and... Nose always in use. Yes, I'm a farmer's son, so I understand farming. I understand the fight with nature. I, my favorite trip ever is always Darjeeling up in the Himalayas. It's the most romantic place in the world. I had my hard times there. I was accused of being a ghost once because one of the estates is haunted. And they this white person walking through the fields in the morning mist. It was me going for an early walk. And I've been thrown out of uh, Sikkim State twice uh, by armed soldiers, which is, I just went wandering. You know. And where is that? Sikkim is on the Chinese-Indian border, so sticky area. I've been thrown out of Somerville twice, I should yeah. say. Oh, well. uh, Giles Hilton, he is the nose from Wittard of Chelsea. Oh, Here's the boy. opening. Put it up on the screen, if you will, very quickly. April 5th, 170 Newbury Street, Newbury and Exeter. Giles, it's been a pleasure. Hey, pleasure thanks indeed. for the tea and yeah. thanks for your time. That's all for today. Thanks to our guest, Giles Hilton. Best Shelburne is up we, next, live at five. Pinky? Don't you do something with Bye. the pinky? Bye, thanks for watching. Hold the pinky up. See ya.